Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Xiaomi Mi Air Pro air purifier. This is uh, an upgraded version. It has several new features uh, in comparison with the first edition and the second edition. The first and second edition had some uh, issues with their uh, sensor that had measured the air quality. This one has a truly accurate sensor based on uh, laser and that is very good it works fine and it doesn't have the problems that the old version had As we are used by Xiaomi, uh, the device design is minimalist, it only has one push button here and a small OLED screen there and you are going to get the most information, the most important information right away, so temperature, humidity that is connected to the wireless and the working mode which is automatic right now and of course the air quality index and the green ring around means that the air quality is okay if something is wrong it will turn red so it will alarm you right away on the back of the filter there is a switch which uh, turns the screen off this is for night mode in case you don't want that light to be shining in your room you can turn it off just by a quick press of the button or you can enable it back again also from the power button which starts and turns off the filter. You can also change the working profile so it's automatic, it's night mode and you also have a custom mode which is now set at maximum speed and also you can go back to auto mode and the auto mode is very useful because the filter will work based on the laser sensor and if it detects uh, dust in the air or moistures or things like that and the air quality index is not that good it will automatically up the motor speed uh, so that it becomes efficient uh, with the maximum speed setting this will cover an area of around 60 square meters which should be enough for a normal size house or uh, apartment. The filter also works with the Xiaomi Mi Home app and it's part of the smart home uh, devices. This will uh, connect not only with the app but can interact with other sensors such as other quality index sensors such as temperature and window sensors, door sensors and you can automate this. For instance if you open the window or the door this can turn off and wait for you to close it because it's not efficient to clean the air from the outside so it should start cleaning the air only when the window is closed so you can do that with the uh, app and beside all of that automation you also have very good control over this you have a lot of uh, indications here such as the filter remaining lifespan, temperature, humidity uh, working days remaining for the filter uh, and you can also go to the advanced settings and here you have schedule, you have device menu, uh, malfunction alert. Uh, there's plenty of stuff and beside that you can also of course manually adjust it such as auto mode, night mode, manual mode, the profiles that are available on the filter. You can adjust them from here, you can turn it off or on and you can even go to uh, general settings and look at that you can even update the filter firmware 
for various things. Uh, sadly, there is no changelog here, but you can see there are plenty of different versions. And there's a lot of stuff that you can actually configure from here. On the rear of the filter, there is the access hatch, which you can remove. And by unlocking the filter, I'm going to show you, this is the cartridge, the filtering cartridge. Uh, there are several types of cartridges. There are normal ones, there are uh, antibacterial ones, and they use an RFID chip inside. And this tells the uh, machine that this is that filter and how much time this has worked. So there's no way actually to trick the machine. If you don't use a new filter, it will not work. So it's impossible to trick, at least for now. Actually, it knows if the filter was used or not, which is kind of a good thing because you don't want to use a dirty filter as it's uh, your health in the game. Right, so now I'm going to lock it back and this uh, seals it up as it has some kind of gaskets up and down so this is a very airtight and now I'm going to put the hatch door back and that was it, very easy to install it and replace it. I'm also going to show you how accurate and fast reacting this sensor is so I'm going to light up a candle and I'm going to let it burn for a bit and blow the candle off right in the back of the filter to make a bit of smoke where the sensor is so this gets drawn in and there you go already turned to red 97 233 and now the automatic program it's starting to clean up the air so it's accelerating but not for maximum and it has already turned back to green and it will throttle down until it goes back to the low speed just like that and now it's back to almost where it was at the beginning of the test you can see the sensor is acting very very fast which is really nice and it does the same not only for smoke but even if I use uh, air uh, moisturizer and this will create small water droplets and you will see that not only the particle count will increase but also the humidity and it was 57 percent now it's 58 percent and you can see that particles particle count is increasing and it will start throttling up the motor in case that the measurement goes up you can see 67 percent humidity let me try to zoom in so the particle count has increased now and you can see the humidity is still high and now i'm at maximum as the water droplets are entering the sensor and this will accelerate to maximum to compensate And the trouble is now over. What I don't like on uh, this air filter is the provided power cable which is uh, Chinese type and it does come with a European adapter which looks like this and it turns into this but this will not fit most uh, of our European sockets and you need actually to use this and now I can plug it in and this thing is a real mess using all that adapters so I'm actually considering cutting the cable and replacing it with a direct European plug because simply I don't like this thing right so this was the first thing that I do not like the second part 
uh, is the provided manual which is this leaflet and it's all in Chinese and only in Chinese and that's all uh, of course you can uh, search for the English manual and you can find it online if you search for it a bit and you can actually download the app from the QR code which is the Mi Home but there are no other instructions not that you need a lot of instructions for this to operate it but it would have been nice to have the same leaflet in English included so that was it for now I hope that uh, you have enjoyed this uh, video presentation uh, if you have any kind of questions regarding this uh, product let me know write a comment below and I will gladly answer to you also, if you have any kind of suggestions for future tests, let me know. Maybe you want to uh, find if this thing has some special features that you need. Ask me and I will try to answer you as best as possible. Oh, until my next video review, see you and bye-bye.